Hi there, it's your friend Phil, project management trainer and coach. Let's take a look at a decision tree analysis problem. Those of you getting ready for the PMP exam have probably opened up page 339 in the Pimple Guide 5th edition. You might have looked at that problem. Here's a similar problem just to kick the tires and make sure that you're ready for this type of question on the PMP exam. You know, decision tree analysis comes hand in hand with EMV, not EVM, EMV. So let's take a look at this problem. You are the CEO of Amuse Me Inc. Shareholders have shown interest in maximizing business opportunities in an amusement park. You have two options, either build a new park, invest in 8 million, or revamp an existing park, invest in 3 million. If you build a new park, there's a 75% chance of a high demand, and you realize 15 million in revenues and a 25% chance of a weak demand and you'll realize 5 million in revenues. If you revamp the existing park, there's a 60% chance of a high demand and you realize 10 million in revenues and a 40% chance of a weak demand and you realize 2 million in revenues. Should you build a new center or revamp? And then what is the EMV of either option? Let's take a look at how you solve this. So when you come across a question like this, you want to put it all into an image, all into a diagram. And the quickest way, of course, is using decision trees. You need to be able to draw the different nodes and where the different options branch out. So it would look something like this. You can see the investment of 8 million. If we build strong demand, a 75% chance of that. Weak demand, a 25% chance of that. And then if we revamp, we've got the investment of 3 million. Strong demand, 60% chance, a $10 million revenue income, and then weak demand, 40% chance of that happening with a $2 million revenue. Now, we need to go further than this. We also need to look at the profit. So we've got the investment and we've got the revenue. We need to find the profit for this branch of the strong demand. So we're going to subtract the $8 million from the $15 million, and we're going to multiply by 75% or 0.75 and then we're going to do the same for the weak demand Yeah, we're going to find what the profit would be. So it's going to be 5 minus 8 Which is minus 3 times 25% and then we're going to add those two numbers together Okay, and then we're going to do the same for the for the revamp option. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works out So we've got our chance nodes build a new center. If we build a new center, it could be a strong demand, it could be a weak demand. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is draw out the revamp option and then we're going to start the math. So strong demand, find a profit, that's 7 million, right? That's for this up here if there's a strong demand. So the profit is 7 million. 15 minus 8. The next thing we should do after getting the profit is we're going to multiply the probability by the profit. So think about it as probability times impact, right? You do that, you get a 5.25, and that is the EMV for the strong demand. Now we need to find the EMV for the weak demand. We do the same thing, subtract the investment from the revenue, and we're going to get a minus 3 million, as you can see. And then we multiply the probability of 25%, which becomes 0.25 in decimal, times the minus 3. And we get minus 0 0.75 million. Okay? Then we're going to add the strong and the weak demand numbers together. And that will be our total EMV for the build new branch. If you do that, you come up with a $4.5 million EMV. Okay, so that's the EMV for build new. Let's find the EMV for the revamp option. The profit, if there's a strong demand, is going to be 10 minus 3, and then we're going to multiply that by 0.6. And we come out with 4.2 million. Let's do that for the weak demand. That's going to be 2 million minus 3 million, which will give you minus 1 million. And then multiply minus 1 million 
by the 40%, and you're going to get minus 0 0.4 million. If you add that to that, you're going to end up getting 3.8 million. Now, this EMV is lower than this EMV. Therefore, you'll choose this, the higher EMV. So the answer is build new. I hope that helps if you apply this same approach to those decision tree analysis problems on your test. And I dare say, try out the one in the PMBOK guide again now that you've got this info and you should get the answers right. Sometimes you could have three branches or four branches and the approach is always the same. I hope that helps and I wish you all the best on your PMP exam or CAPM exam.